Hey guys, I'm going to answer your questions about this chunky, giant, granny square. Um, the tutorial I released last Friday. This thing is big. It's so comfy. Um, but I had several questions. Oh, I wrote down all of them. So let me get those. In case you haven't seen this yet, this is the full blanket. So it's about 44 inches wide by 66 inches long. It's a perfect size for one person. Okay, so questions that you guys have had. How many skeins are in a square? So for one of these granny squares, which is what the tutorial is showing you how to make, it ends up being about three and a half skeins of our Chanel yarn. Um, but you'll need like four to six, depending, because as you can see, this outside border is a lot more yarn. So like this middle one, you need like a partial skein. This one, you need a partial skein. This color, you need, I think, a little more than a skein. And then the outside, you would use maybe not quite two. Um, but then obviously, I changed, alternated the colors. So it just really depends on how many colors you're using. Um, but overall, like if you're using scrap yarn, then you only use like three and a half skeins total. Okay, and then for the whole blanket, so this blanket, I made six granny squares and it weighs almost exactly 20 skeins of yarn. So that's how many total. So again, if you're planning to make a full blanket the same size, I would say get more um, just to make sure that you have enough of each color. Um, and it's just always nice to have extra. You don't want to run out of yarn when you're in the middle of a project. Um, how to connect the squares. So I don't have a tutorial on this right now, um, but I do have some recordings of me connecting mine and I'm planning to just give that out for free. I'll post it um, as soon as I'm able to edit that video. But um, if you need help with that now, I do have a tutorial that I watched on YouTube that is traditional crochet, but it's how I learned the process of what I chose to do. Even though there's multiple ways to connect granny squares, it kind of depends on what your project is. If you're making a blanket, are you making a pillow? Are you making a cushion? You know, however you decide to use it. Um, what kind of yarn? So this is chenille yarn. Um, I sell it on my website. You can a lot of times find it on Amazon or in a local store. Um, obviously, it's nice for you to support small businesses. I try to um, include colors that I really like. I found that at some uh, craft stores, there aren't a lot of colors in stock or enough of them that I want. So I just placed an order for more chenille yarn. So I'll be getting more of that within a month or so um, to have more options. But I have some and it's on sale on my website. Um, care instructions. So chenille yarn is machine washable, which is great. It's durable. It holds up. Um, I haven't washed this, so I can't tell you exactly what it would look like, but machine wash, gentle cycle, and then low heat because um, you don't want it to shrink or anything. Um, the tutorial, like I said, it came out last Friday. It's on my website, staycozyco.com. Um, I have a link on my page going directly to my website. Um, but if for some reason, if you're having a hard time finding it, a couple people have, just message me or comment and I'll send you the direct link. Um, will I make you one? Yes. Um, so these are custom order only. This is the only one I have ever made. And a lot of times, like with my stuffies in the past, even if it was my first one, like I didn't feel overly attached to it and I would sell it. Um, but this for some reason feels different. And because I think that I'll use it here in the studio and so I'm going to keep it. Um, but yes, I do take custom orders. You can either email me or you can fill out a custom orders form on my website and that sends me all your information and then I can get in touch with you with an estimate and all of that jazz. Um, can you use a large hook? So like a large crochet hook. Um, I think you can. I honestly have never used one of those large crochet hooks, but I think that chenille yarn, you can use it. And so if you're more comfortable with that, if you're used to using a large hook, I would say go for it and try it. Um, but just know that my tutorial is for hand crochet. So you'll just have to interpret that in the way that you use your hook. Um, and then tube yarn. Can we make one of these out of tube yarn? The answer is yes, because the first granny square, the first uh, chunky granny square I made was actually tube yarn. Let me grab that. And it's so cool. So if you haven't seen tube yarn before, it's basically a tube of fabric 
and then stuffed with polyester fibers on the inside. So these outside ones are like velvet and then this yellow one is my cotton tube yarn and it's weighted. So um, it just would be so heavy. I don't know if I would recommend making one of these into like a full blanket. You totally could. But um, I think since this was my first one, I learned a lot and I think I would adjust like how many stitches I use to maybe make it a little bit lighter. Um, yeah, so, but if you want to do that, if you wanna make a blanket out of it or make a cushion or a baby mat or something like that, um, just know I am gonna come out with a tutorial for that. So I would say I, unless you feel pretty confident about um, interpreting and like changing some of the stitches and patterns, um, if you want to make one with tube yarn, I would say wait until I come out with that tutorial because you could buy the chenille yarn one now, um, but just like the number of stitches will likely be different because the tube yarn is thicker and like sturdier. And so I'm going to change up the way that I actually make the granny square. So it'll be a little bit different. Um, yeah, so I would just say wait. And then... I think my last question was, is the tutorial good for beginners? Um, I would say that the Granny Square is like an intermediate project. It's taken me a while. I mean, I'm self-taught, so it's taken me years to finally get to this place where I could do the Granny Square. Um, so I'd say it's intermediate. However, it is a video tutorial, so I believe that anyone can learn how to do it. You might just have to rewatch it over and over again which is totally fine. That's why I do videos. That's how I learn best. That's how a lot of people learn best. And so I would say that if you're interested, totally give it a try. Um, and you can always reach out to me if you have a question. And there's so many resources online, like if you're wanting to learn, um, you can. So the only reason I say it's intermediate is because there's like four or five different stitches that we use. And so if you've never done crochet, it might be confusing, but you still are capable of learning. So I would say go for it. So I think I've answered all your guys' questions so far. Let me know if you have more.